Welcome back to Kerbal Hard and Uncut You Find Me, just trying to finish off the work that we started in the last episode. Um, oh, and that's not what I want to do. I want to actually take that and put it on the other side. Um, so last episode, we were basically putting together our rendezvous craft. Oh, don't want to do that. I want to uh, alt that. Uh, control that. Control, isn't it? Yeah. No, alt. That's, that's what I'm trying. Could have just clicked up there as quickly. So yeah, we're putting together our little runabout rendezvous craft uh, to finish off that docking mission just so it's off the books. But we're also going to combine it with rescuing some people. So it's going to cost us 12,000. That's a lot. I'm, I'm sure I could have just used the original craft, okay? Could have just done the changes I've done up the top there. Um, but I haven't because where's the fun in that? Um, so what we're going to do is these things are going to go up. We're going to send two up. Um, save that. We're going to uncrew them. Thank you very much. Let's have a look. Oh, it's James. James is, James is only still one star. Come on. Um, we're going to uncrew them. Uh, we're going to launch it. And we're going to collect a couple of passengers. Ideally a scientist, ideally a pilot. I need to go and check which one's which. So first of all, I'm going to get this thing into orbit. So um, yeah, let's, let's just launch that thing. Um, I would really like to get both launches done in this episode would be really good. And then maybe getting a rendezvous going on, that would be really good as well. Um, so to do that, I am going to do speedy launchy technique, which basically means I'm gonna uh, press press a lot of buttons. Oh, I forgot these things don't have, oh. Um, I'm sure I can still dock. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure we can still do that. Right, get the speed going up a bit, please, right. Um, start to tilt over a bit. There we go. Oh, that's looking interesting. That little fairing moment there is looking very interesting, isn't it? Oh, hello. Oh dear. Come on. Just, just no, please. There we go. That's nice. Said full power. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we'll just we'll just ride up there a little bit. Um, not to self, fins, fins please, bit of fins, that would be probably a good idea, and um, yeah, get up into the into the uh, the thinner air there, would be good. The good thing is, I believe because we've got a, a little pod thing there, uh, a control core, even though we don't have a pilot in, we actually can use the reaction wheel that's built into the, uh, the command pod as it were, which I think is actually quite a bonus, I think that's quite a nice one for us. Yeah, yeah this thing's going to get to orbit, I'm, I'm not too concerned about it. Um, I, well, I shouldn't be anyway, should I? Um, actually, I should be because it's only about, mm, yeah. This could go embarrassingly again, but I'm sure we'll be fine. I'm sure we're going to be fine. Yeah, we're, we're, we're getting, uh, this might work as long as I don't do anything too stupid. Um, oh, we're actually not going up enough. That's what we need to do. We need to get a bit of haltimitude. We're actually going to kill everything right now, aren't we? There we go. Fire that. This thing's a lot heavier, actually. This is something that I have not in, uh, thought about. We've actually fattened up this top section quite considerably, um, and that is a problem. We almost actually burned off our, um, our our things there. Note to self: do not do silly time warpy warpy launches. Um, yeah, maybe a bigger a bigger fuel tank on this would have been a better idea. Thinking about it, you know, if, we, if we've got those solids on there, we can send quite a lot. Of, I think the solids are too big, if I'm entirely honest because we, uh, we sort of lost control as it were, but um, we will have a look, right? Let's have a look at this. What's our what's our time going to be like? And we're still on, are we still on time warp? No, we're not, we're, we're now above the atmosphere, okay. Uh, 300, 300? Yeah, that's easy. We've got loads of Delta V. I'm actually doing a lot better than I thought it was. I thought we'd actually used a lot up by going through the atmosphere there, but obviously not, obviously not a problem. Right, we can, uh, Hurry on through there, and we're going to get to uh, do our thing. It's only a 26 second burn because we've actually put a lot of uh, lateral, like horizontal speed into the into the system already. There we go. Get this thing up, done, wonderful. Now we're just going to get this thing into orbit, and then we can do all the maneuvers and things in a moment. And what we'll do is, I'm actually going to launch uh, runabout four. We'll modify runabout four, send that up first. I don't know whether to dock these first or to actually. Um, to try and go for the rendezvous with the uh, the other craft that are in orbit. Um, that would be the interesting one. Here we go. We're done. Oh. We don't have signal. Right. Why do we not have signal? Um, what's that? 
Oh, you are kidding me. We're that close? Which ones is that? That's the scientist, isn't it? Right. Um... Where's the other where's the other signal come from? We're gonna go right underneath it. We are gonna go right underneath it without a signal. I can see it happening already. Yep, we're gonna catch it and go right underneath it. Oh we have signal. Cut that. Right. Uh no. Gimme give gimme give focus view. Uh set this target. Right, uh cluster approach. Uh add maneuver. Right here we go. Can we can we bring it? Can we bring the closest approach? Oh yeah, that's nice. That is nice. Right, let's have a look at that um, on this one. Uh, bit of that, bit of that. No, that's as close as I'm getting that. What about a bit of bit of this? Okay, uh, some of that. No, that's not helping. Um, bit of no, not that. Uh, some more of this. Is that getting us closer? No, it is getting us further away. Um, uh, you can see at the bottom corner here, I'm down to four kilometers. Three, two, one, and a bit. 200. There we go. That's the move right now. Do I have signal when I get there? Um, yes, I do because we're actually. Actually perfect, but the problem is I'm not gonna have signal for that burn. Right. Um Okay. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be problematic. Unless can we relay off stuff? So if I wait until this gets to around to here, then I launch the next craft, then I use it as a relay, that is an option potentially. Okay, so let's let's try this. Um, let's get ourselves onto the correct position. We're going to jump back into here. Right, we are going to get ourselves onto the right position here. Seven minutes in, and I'm going to try and do a rendezvous when I shouldn't really be doing a rendezvous with this craft right now. Right, there's a lot of odd burning required on this one. Uh, so there we go. And okay. That's uh, mm, not brilliant, but we can we can refine it a little bit, can't we? There we go. Just bring it down to ooh, about 200 meters. Okay, so now we're at 200 meters. Oh, this is going to be this is going to be torture. Let's go to here. Right, so we're going to go past that one, which is uh, not too bad. I'm not going to have signal for that, am I? I wonder if these connectors really, I don't think they can. Why am I stopping? Why am I stopping? Why is there stoppage? Oh, oh dear. Um, okay, doke. Pro mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we're, um, I forgot to actually check. This is a, this is a note to self. So we're skimming the atmosphere right now. Um, and I don't have signal. Oh. We're gonna go back up out of the atmosphere, but we've affected our route a little bit. Yeah, it has. Right, so we're now going to be, how far away? Uh, oh, no, 0.5, okay, it's not killed it. It's not killed our separation. It's just it's just taken a few hundred meters out of it, um, which is annoying, but it's not terrible. Right, to warp to there. Oh, is this gonna be right on top of the space center? That would be beautiful if it is. Oh, I will love it forever if it is right. Let's see, we've got a signal here. We have signal there. Space Center's coming underneath where we're gonna do the docking. Oh, come on. Yes, this is good. This is, this is looking good. This is looking very good. Um, or do, not docking, but we've got we've to crew it. Right, um, let's warp it to there. We still should get signal. Right. I have to do this quickly because we've got to get nearby. So I need to be target retrograde. Come back, come back, come back, come back. And then I need to fire my engines. There we go. Right. 
We've got to do this reasonably quickly because we're going to start drifting away and I might lose signal at any moment. So, do that. Right, we're now pretty much on, on the target. Oh, get off. We're now pretty much on the target. We're going to put our thrust limiter down to what? 20 again. And let's aim at that craft. Let's get ourselves closer. Uh, we're going past it on that side, so let's pull us here. Do a bit of that. Like so. Just a little bit down there. And kill that. And turn the craft round. I know I have RCS right now. I'm saving it for the docking, okay? Don't don't shout at me. I know you're probably shouting at the screen right now going, you've got RCS, why are you not using it? And I know I've probably got too much RCS, but I do not have uh, station keeping on this in, in any sort of shape or form. So I know I'm going to have to do a horrible, horrible docking. It's going to be horrendous because I, I love doing my normal anti-normal docking. And uh, this is this is not it. All right, close approach in 15. It's going to be right, right on top of us. Okay, so we're going to position... I've lost signal. Right, um, okay, can I? I can't do anything. Get out. EB it. Get the jetpack on. We're catching that thing. Please, forward. There we go. Uh, that way would be good. And then forward. How do I go forward? I want to go down towards you. Is that going down? No, that's that's the way I want to go. Down. 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 And then forward up a bit. This is just where everything goes wrong, doesn't it? Come on. Come on. Uh, no, nope, we're going to go down again. No, nope, down. Down. Wrong things. Wrong things. And forward. And that way. Forward. Down. Come on. Why am I drifting so far away from you? I want to go forward. Come on. Why are you just continuing to go? Ah, oh, now we're working. Right, okay, better. And then I want to go down a bit. Yep, that's it. And then we're going to go up to... The, yeah, that's that's beautiful. How much fuel have I got? Um, I can't see my fuel, can I? Okay, we've got, we've got fuel. We have fuel. Okay, one minute to go. This is not the sensible way of doing this, by the way. This is not the way I would suggest it. And uh, yeah, I think I actually had my fingers on the wrong keys there. So we were going up and down at the wrong place. That is a little bit annoying. We do have the fuel for this. We are doing a bit of a long walk uh, with whoever you are. Are you the scientist? If you are the scientist, you are much better at EVA than our previous scientist. I'm going, oh, current scientist, current scientist. He's not dead yet. Right. Um, I'd like to go this way a little bit. And I'd like to go a bit like that. There we go. That's it. Just uh, put me there would be perfect. Now I need to be aware of the fact that um, currently, currently we are coming in at quite a chat, I believe is the phrase. So I need to uh, kill that at some point, but not quite yet. We're gonna, we're gonna do, oh now, that's interesting. I wanna do that. Um, no, I want to do. Uh, I want to do that. A uh, bit of bit of that. There we go. 
and then I want to do that. Oh, this is really weird flying like this. I have not had to do this before. So yeah, this is a uh, long distance EVA is, oh, and that is going to be it for this episode. So join me in the next one.